Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi, Calvary. Amber here with your word for the day. Today we're looking at Matthew 15, verses 29 through 31. And it says, Jesus went on from there and walked beside the Sea of Galilee, and he went up on the mountain and sat down there. And great crowds came to him, bringing with them the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others. And they put them at his feet, and he healed them. So the crowd wondered when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled healthy, the lame walking, and the blind seeing. And they glorified the God of Israel. See, this is actually a prophecy fulfilled from Isaiah 35. Um, you can go and read it, but it talks about how the, the crippled are walking, the lame walking, the blind seeing. Um, and it's so cool and amazing when you read the Bible and you study it, how it all points to Jesus. Um, and so it's just so cool that God knew and had a plan for what he was going to do. And the chapter in Isaiah is talking about how God is redeeming his people. And that is pointing to Jesus because he is the only way that we're able to be redeemed and forgiven of our sins and have a relationship with Jesus. And so from this passage in Matthew, we can see that God deeply cares about us. He cares about our needs. He cares about what we're going through. But ultimately, he cares about our eternity. And if you don't know if you have a relationship with Jesus, you can start one right now because God sent Jesus into the world, born of a virgin, lived a sinless, perfect life, and he died on the cross to take all of the punishment of your sin and your shame so that you can be forgiven and experience God's freedom and hope and peace and joy in this life and the one to come. And so if you haven't ever taken that step to have a relationship with Jesus, you can do that right now. You can just have a conversation with God and tell him that you know you're a sinner and that you want his forgiveness and his freedom and that you're choosing to surrender your life and making him your Lord and Savior. If you do have a relationship with Jesus, then we can live differently knowing that God cares about us. God cares deeply for us. And so we can live with hope. We can live with joy. We can live with peace because we know that in this life that God is with us and he is for us. And not only here and now, but for all eternity, God is with us. And our e salvation is eter eternal and secure with Jesus. And so today, I hope that you choose to live differently, following your Lord and Savior, living out his character, spending time getting to know him, and choosing to live with hope and peace and joy. Have a great day, Calvary.